It's Monday, Melody's playing guitar, and we're getting ready to go out to Rammer's Ranch. We're gonna go hike around for a little while because we don't have anything better to do. We figured we'd take you along with us because that's what we're used to. So, brace yourselves. We're going outside, it's hot, but it should be fun. I had to stop for gas, and Melody's gonna drive so I can film. It should be a beautiful day, it's kinda hot, but we're gonna be right next to the water most of the time, I think. Did you buy a washer fluid? Um, <laughs> no I didn't. Washer fluid acquired. A little more work than we anticipated, but I guess we're all set to go now. That's right. Ready? Yeah. Let's try yeah. it. Yay! It's always kind of an exciting feeling when you pull into the park entrance, even when it's a place you've been to many times. I always look forward to coming here. It's really good hiking out here. You feel really good about yourself when you're done. <laughs> cornerstone of any hiking excursion terrible for you. I don't recommend them if you think you're going to get calories or nutrition, but they taste super freaking good. Selfie technical difficulties? No. Nope. Uh, we want to know how far we go today, so I'm going to start the EarthMate app and we're off. Like I was saying earlier, one reason we'd love to come out here is because you feel really good after you get done hiking. So today, we are definitely looking for a challenge. Normally we go in and dip down and take a right and go underneath where the sex cave and all the other climbing routes are. However, this time I think we're going to try to make it to the left so we can see something a little bit different. And with any luck, we'll come out this way. Hacking along this creek without a map. So far it's just kind of running along the side of the road. We hear cars going by and stuff. Melody's putting some bug spray on and uh, we're gonna keep on moving. Hopefully it leads us down to the water. If not, we're gonna have to bushwhack across that field. I do have a digital map. I just don't wanna bust it out if I don't have to. Think we can get through there? Can't tell if there's a fence or not. Well, let's go check. Got to go under some trees here. We're going to follow another creek. Hopefully, it leads us down to the river. That would be the Pertinalis River. Never thought I'd bushwhack at Rhymers, but it turns out it's kind of fun, and we've come across, I think, a trailhead, or at least an opening in a gate. Makes me feel a little better about things. Oh, oh we found a road, huh? Pencil cactus in leg. Melody's got a pencil cactus in her leg, apparently. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's no joke. I guess you're gonna want those out, huh? Yes, please. Yeah, there's the Pertinalis River. We somewhat made it. We're about 80 feet above it. Freaking awesome. That's a hook for climbers. This must be one of the routes. So yeah, cool. We're still in the park boundaries. <laughs> That's good. This is not the first time we've seen one of these here at this park. Notice at the bottom it says climb on. This is another climbing route. Two days ago was the anniversary of that death. Well, there's a way down. Or there's a way through. I vote through. Me too. Melody decided to go the hard route. Way to go, I'm proud of you.
Oh, this is really pretty. Might be a good place to take a quick break and have a beverage. I actually think if we kept going down a little bit further, we'll find a better place. Uh, I think that qualifies. Way to go. Yeah. Sign says stay on trail, and we will from this point, but we haven't up until this point. Try completely off trail. <laughs> <laughs> My legs are, are so itchy right yes. now. Yes, and full of needles and burrs. Whatever else is poking me. Look at these formations on the rocks. The way the water has just blasted it over the thousands and thousands of years it's been here. Maybe millions, probably billions. Some of the slipperiest rock we've gone down in a while. You got it? Yeah, slippery and there's narrow places for your feet to fall into and get caught. So you just gotta be really careful. I just so wanna go swim in that little puddle right there. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful little blue hole. Yeah. But it says stay on the trail, so. We must abide. Yep. Oh. Open and amazing over here. Stalagmite. Dripping. I love it here. I love it. Just dripping with life. I just can't believe that we're in Texas. That's why I love coming out here. Look at that. We gotta go back to the truck and get something that we forgot. We've already put in over 1.2 miles. Sweet, and we did some climbing, so. Climbing and bushwhacking. Yep, already off to a really good start if you ask me. It itches. It's just nature. Okay, call me crazy. But that right there has to be the most tempting little blue hole, swimming hole, secret water spot I think I've ever come across. But I'm gonna practice restraint and I think we're gonna keep on moving as tempting as it is. Gotta do it right. Gotta make the miles today. Yeah, that's true. We got some calories to burn. Maybe next time, but now you know it's here. I fell down and almost broke the camera. This thing's taken a beating. We've done probably 50 episodes of our show with this camera. Give me one good reason not to strip down and jump in. <laughs> well, I'm looking, but I don't see any water moccasins. Looks like we got no excuses. Almost looks tropical, doesn't it? This is the Texas Hill Country. Nothing tropical here. Till you come to Rymers. This right here is one of the boulders that we've actually watched people free climb on. A 
I think I found a nice shady spot. Oh wow, all right, so we got, some call it a banana spider, some call it a garden spider. Uh, I'm gonna go with garden spider, I don't know, but it's caught something, and he's currently working on spinning it up in its web. To get these shots for you, our legs are on fire because we just bushwhacked through these really tall, nasty stuff. And it, it just, <laughs> it's like fire ants, but it won't last forever. It just, it's just a little sting, the plant's defense mechanism. That's a garden spider that just, He's got what looks to be like a giant June bug or something. Maybe even a locust. He's waiting for us to leave so he can go back to his food. That spider was cool, but we sacrificed. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to go find a place to put our legs in the water and try to rinse that off. Looks like as good of a place as any. I'm going straight for it. Are your legs not itching like mine are? <laughs> she must be stronger than me. I don't know, but I went through some tall stuff to try to get that spider shot. And oh my gosh, my legs are on fire. Woo! Did it help your legs, that swim? Um, I'd say my legs are about 40% better. They're still itching like crazy. The only thing I can do is move on. No matter how spiny and muddy and itchy my feet are, doesn't matter. You gotta keep moving through the pain or you'll never get anywhere. Some random picnic tables out of nowhere. There's a nice river overlook. Cool place to chill. for everything. I haven't seen that before. They're not really mating, they're just cuddling. There was actually a little baby grasshopper underneath both of those. Looked like they were sheltering it. a beautiful trail we're gonna miss it but we gotta go it's not far from where we live it only takes us about 25 minutes to get here a few uncharted parts of this place we haven't seen and we're off tomorrow too now we'll give you one last sweeping view of the Pertinalis River it's really awesome it's kind of a greenish hue but that's okay it's better than it was after the floods it was full of debris and it was all brown Another thing we just learned is that we've been calling the pencil cactus, or what I call the Medusa killer plant, we've been calling it kind of wrong. It's actually called Tasahio, desert Christmas cactus. Go figure. It looks like the driver of this car might have just suited up and hit the trail and walked off without actually closing their door. I would say, go ahead and close it. Don't lock it, but close it. Okay. I would call today a pretty good success. We made it to the casa, and that's gonna do it for us today. Thanks for coming with us on this little adventure. Who knows what's in store for us tomorrow, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Are you ready? 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 Sorry.